Hey, my name is Ira Marks, and this is my Draw Diary. As a kid, I watched a lot of cartoons, and if you never noticed, a fairly common stylistic choice the creators of kids' cartoons make is to anthropomorphize their characters, which pretty much means to take human characteristics and place them on non-human things like animals or objects. So, like for example, in Disney's Robin Hood, the character is portrayed by a fox. Uh, when you think of a fox, they're an animal that rides the line between the wild animal and the domestic animal, and that's a good fit for Robin Hood. He's a character that rides the line between uh, good and bad. This concept of the anthropomorphic character rooted itself pretty deep in my mind from an early age, and I guess it's a way for me to understand the characters in lots of artistic situations. And I you know, remember going so far as to bring this idea to music. So I picked one of my favorite bands of all time, Fleetwood Mac, and I'm gonna base this on a photo this image here is from the back cover of the album Rumors from 1977. It's, you know, one of their most popular records. Got a lot of hits on it. And I'm going to stay pretty close to the layout of this image. But one thing I'm going to start to do right away is consider what type of animals or creatures the people in the band represent. And if you know anything about this band, there's a lot of emotional depth not only to the songs, but to the relationships of the people in the band. All right, so I'm st staying pretty close to the layout here. As usual with my character designs, I do a rough sketch to block out where they are in the space, arrange their shoulders, hips, get the proportions about right. And then over top of that, I bring in some level of detail. In this case, I have to decide what type of animal all these people are. So on the left here, John, he's got kind of a ratty, cool 70s look to him. Real skinny, a little hairy. Here behind John is Lindsey Buckingham, who is one of the main composers and songwriters of the band. He seems to have the biggest ego of everybody in this group. The way he's kind of cast in shadow and has this giant head of hair. So I'm going to make him a lion, which is a little bit masculine, but also has these softer eyes. In front of him, we've got Stevie Nicks, who's really the soul of the band. And I'm going to make her kind of a wolf, an animal that's rooted in the spirit world as well as the natural world. And behind her, we've got the most carefree band member, Mick Fleetwood. Even from this photo, you can tell he's just kind of a goof. So I have no problem with making him this strange sort of surreal, doofy monster with big eyes in the background. Christy McVie, another songwriter in the band, she just seems kind of contemplative and has this really striking profile. So based on those simple facts, I'm going to make her another wolf-type character with a long snout. Now I'm going to move on into the inking. I'm working with just a, a kind of a slightly sloppy inker with a very cartoony feel. You can see me deciding on the level of detail I want in this image as I go. I'm just capturing a couple basic wrinkles or shadow elements early on. And what I like most about this photo is the level of contrast. So I'm taking a lot of guidance from that. I'm blacking out spaces that I might otherwise leave a little more open, taking advantage of these influences in the photograph. With Lindsay Buckingham here, I want the eyes to feel soft.
I want the hair to feel like a lion's mane. Instead of just filling it in, I'm going to sketch out with just lines. That way I can leave any texture within there and kind of capture the madness of his big curly afro. I'll go back in later and fill in this shirt. Same thing with Mick Fleetwood's hair. I'm going to draw it as it would exist. And even though a lot of it gets hidden, just going about these steps gives it a bit more form than it otherwise would if I just used the paint bucket tool. My background as a cartoonist makes me depend on line a lot. And it's probably the artistic element that I'm most comfortable with. As I work on this image, I'm really finding the hair to be one of the defining characteristics of each of these characters. So I'm spending a lot of time getting just the right lines in this first pass and being sensitive to the shadows and the highlights. It's hard for me making hands look loose and comfortable. But I think that works pretty well. I think this profile is really great. And um, I'm not sure about the face yet. It doesn't seem quite right. So when I get there, I'm going to play with it a little. One of my favorite things about working from a photograph is coming across patterns or textures or fashion that define a character, but I wouldn't I've ever thought to use them. So I really love Christine McVie's dress in this picture. It's just got a look that I never would have come up with on my own. So I'm going to really put it to use and maybe steal it for something else down the line. Okay, back to Lindsay Buckingham. Uh, I love that he's just a black silhouette. It's up in the background here, but... You can see his chest is bare, and it's just such a classic look for him, and it really helps give this character more shape. All right, now that I've got all the black blocked out, I'm going to come back in with the same pen, but using white, and make some spaces and some textures. Okay, Christine McVie's face needs to be different. I, I'm not into that profile. I'm trying a lot of things here. Make sure I catch that turn down lip. Speaking of lips, Stevie Nicks doesn't look quite right. She's a little happier in this photo. There we go. Let's get the mouth of Mick Fleetwood. He's got kind of a crazy smile and this sort of pouty lip for Lindsay Buckingham. Okay, I'm going with the cream in the background, and I'm going to take this dry, streaky brush and show the shadow behind them. Then build 
a layer on top of that, bring out a little texture with this canvas brush. This brush has a bit of a hatch look to it, so it works well to complement some of the details of the texture. I'll be honest, it took me half of this drawing to really decide I liked where it was going, so this might be something I try again down the line. All right, there is Fleetwood Mac is anthropomorphic creatures. I hope you enjoyed my video. You can subscribe to my channel here and you can support my art by buying some prints. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.